What's the matter? What, left hand shake. You can't be hurting yourself, brother. We just started. I remember the first time I saw this picture. One Korean man and a group of young African-American men in 1968. It really made me want to find out who my father was, is. And they said 1968 was a year of obstacles for America. And it really made me wonder, how did my father and these young men find their way as fathers, professionals, providers, and champions? in a time where every obstacle was thrown at them. And not only did they survive it, they thrived in it. Even though it didn't compare at all with what they must have gone through, it really made me think about my beginnings here in LA, trying to become an actor, whatever that meant. And looking back, it really was a ridiculous thought. I'm so lucky that I was so naive, I guess, to think I could do something. I moved to LA just because I wanted to, I did martial arts my whole life and I just wanted to feel like a white belt again, like feel excited. It was called the Blue Sphere Alliance. It's my first after class. I remember the first time I did Shakespeare here, I thought I was going to die. It was like, the first time I did it, it sounded like ghetto Shakespeare. He definitely turned over in his grave. I had like literally $62 to my name. And I applied for a job here, teaching martial arts. It's gone. After a few years of studying and auditioning, I was supporting myself as an actor. Action. Action. But Hollywood has a crazy way of making you feel on top of the world one minute, and a second later making you question if you're talented enough, charming enough, good looking enough. You know, all the things I've heard many times over that I wasn't enough of something. It's like the perfect storm of making you feel insane. But the one touchstone I'd always go back to when things got tough was my training. It allowed me to close my eyes, cover my ears, and be naive enough again to keep pushing. How's that hamstring doing? You seem a lot better, Will.
My hopes and dreams are the same now as when I lived on my friend's floor and did plays at the theater company, taught martial arts at the gym. Nothing's changed. I'm sure it's no different than anyone else, choosing a path that seems like you can never see light at the end of the tunnel. And I wouldn't change it for the world. I guess the only way I kept a little bit of my sanity and kept pushing forward is who I chose to be close to me. Maybe that's part of how the Simbas and my dad got through it all in that crazy time. They had each other.